Bremont is a brand that has set the standards in manufacturing understated yet beautiful aviation chronometers. The story actually begins many years before with two brothers, Nick and Giles English. They spent most of their formative years with their father Ewan in his workshop in Cambridge in England. Ewan English, a pilot and aeronautical engineer, inspired his sons through his love of restoring vintage aircraft and cars and timepieces. He was also passionate about flying and an active display pilot on the air show circuits. The brothers were fortunate enough to be taught to fly from a very early age and were displaying historic aircraft themselves at air shows when they were in their teens. They both also flew with the Royal Air Force during their university years. Tragedy then struck the family one late afternoon on March the 4th, 1995. Nick was out flying with his father in the back of the 1942 North American Harvard whilst practicing formation aerobatics with another T-6. Their aircraft crashed and Ewan English died on impact. Nick broke over 30 bones in the accident and was airlifted to hospital in London. Giles, who was waiting to take off in the next sortie, received the news of the accident over the radio. This one event changed the brothers' lives forever. Nick discharged himself from hospital several months later and Giles quickly got him back up in the air. Doing something they loved was now essential to both of them. Life is short. Recent events had certainly shown this and it definitely proved to be a tipping point in the brothers' lives. They occupied themselves joining the small family business, restoring and maintaining vintage aircraft, whilst planning for what they really wanted to do, to set up their own watch brand. Eventually, the opportunity came in 2002, and the brothers set up two small workshops, one just outside London in England, and the other in Bienne in Switzerland, to help source the parts to make their first collection. The watches had to be over-engineered in every sense of the word. They were all to be mechanical and also chronometer tested. Only the finest components would be used, and all their efforts went to producing a watch that simply could not be rivaled quality-wise for its price point. It also had to be durable. With a tagline of tested beyond endurance, robustness was to play a significant part in all of the testing over the coming years. With some of the greatest contributions to horology over the past three centuries, from John Harrison's first ship's chronometer, enabling precise navigation at sea, to other great innovators like Mudge, Graham, Tompion, and the great and recently deceased George Daniels. Around 65% of the innovation in a mechanical wristwatch has come from British shores over the years. The UK was the perfect location to start. The brothers didn't want to purchase and relaunch a dormant brand. Nick and Giles wanted the brand to start from afresh with all of the new ideologies in place from day one. Two years after the plane accident and whilst flying down through France in an old 1930s biplane, the brothers had to force land due to poor weather, landing in a pea field. Keen to avoid the French authorities, the brothers gladly accepted the hospitality of a farmer who helped them manoeuvre their aircraft into his barn. The farmer was not only passionate about aviation and a pilot himself in the past, but he also liked tinkering with all things mechanical. He reminded the brothers of their father, had he lived for another 30 years. The farmer's name? Antoine Bremont. With the watches finally ready and a name as well, a very rigorous testing phase was entered into both in and out of the workshop. The watches were tested for significant periods of time by adventurers, explorers, mountaineers, free divers and, of course, pilots. All cases on Bremont watches are hardened in the UK, giving the case metal a hardness of seven times that of a standard watch-grade stainless steel and all of the watch's sapphire crystals are treated with nine layers of scratch-resistant anti-reflective coating on both sides. Finally, the majority of Bremont movements are subjected to a rigorous 15-day chronometer test over seven different temperature ranges and watch positions and arrive with a performance certificate as issued by the COSC Institute in Switzerland. Bremont now finds itself in the top handful of chronometer producers in the world. All Bremont watches are proudly manufactured at our atelier in Henley-on-Thames in England, where Bremont-trained watchmakers assemble and test these remarkable mechanical timepieces. The company is incredibly passionate about training watchmakers and assemblers in-house, as they will undoubtedly form the backbone of the industry in the UK in the years that lie ahead. Not content with stopping there, Bremont has invested heavily in its parts manufacturing facility in Silverstone, the home of British motorsport and Formula One. Using the latest in technology and the highly trained local skill set, 
The company now has the capability to make its own watch cases and some key movement parts. The first time this has happened on this scale in the UK for decades. It forms the first part of a major investment program for Bremel as it continues to work towards the repatriation of British watchmaking and control of its own supply chain. It was not long into Bremel's history that a gruelling four-year phase of testing and development started with the British ejection seat manufacturer Martin Baker. Martin Baker has saved around 7,500 aircrew lives to date and their escape technology continues to be used all around the globe. The project goal? To produce a watch that could withstand the same rigours as the seats themselves and therefore putting the chronometers through the same testing and evaluation programme. The watches were subjected to vibration, shock, climatic, pressure and electromagnetic tests, to name but a few, and they've been also the only watch brand to have been subjected to a live ejection testing programme. One result of all this testing was that Bremont soon developed an anti-shock movement suspension mechanism that allowed the mechanical watch to continue running in these environments. The limited edition Bremont MB1 is solely for pilots who have ejected from an aircraft using a Martin Baker seat. While the MB1 is reserved for the few, the MB2 is available to all and has become a Bremont bestseller. Its unique case design, distinct coloured barrel and the groundbreaking technical features made it an instant favourite among aviators in the military and civilian worlds alike. Some of the special edition watches built in conjunction with the military, like the B2 Chronograph, the C17 Globemaster or the DLC coated U2, have in turn inspired commercially available watches that can be found in Bremont's core collection. Bespoke limited editions for Bremont do not end here. In fact, the company has become renowned for its innovative and beautifully made non-military limited timepieces. The Bremont EP120, which integrated parts of a very famous World War II supermarine Spitfire, and then Bremont P51 a year later, really set the benchmark early on and have become real collector pieces. The Bremont Victory, integrating oak and copper from Lord Nelson's flagship, and then the Codebreaker, built in association with Bletchley Park, the home of Alan Turing during World War II, have continued to allow this British watch company to push the boundaries in timekeeping. Most recently, it was the collaboration between Bremont and the Wright Family Foundation to produce an incredibly beautiful watch, incorporating priceless parts of the 1903 Wright Flyer, the first powered aircraft to take to the skies on that historic day on the 17th of December 1903, that really redefined what is possible. Bremont's also been kept very busy with other key partnerships with a few iconic brands. One brand that the watch company has been working very closely with over the last few years is Jaguar Motorcars. Jaguar approached Bremont initially to make the dashboard clock for its CX-75 hybrid concept car, a stunning range of extended electric supercar made to celebrate 75 years of the mark. The final result was a perfect combination of traditional Jaguar warmth and absolute purity and precision. Bremont and Jaguar have continued their relationship following an overwhelming response to the creation of the very special six Bremont chronometers which complement each of the six continuation lightweight E-type sports racing cars built by Jaguar. The new MK1, 2 and 3 ranges of watches are all dedicated to the road-going E-type which at its 1961 launch was not only the fastest production car in the world but according to Enzo Ferrari the most beautiful. Not going far from Bremont's aviation roots, a long-term development partnership with Boeing, the US aeronautical giant, helped put this relatively young British watch company firmly on the world stage in terms of watch brands. The relationship with Boeing was very much centered around both companies' desire to innovate on a material and manufacturing research level. New metals have been experimented with and used to develop the stunning range of Bremont Boeing timepieces, and Bremont has also become fully immersed on an R&D level with the Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre of which Boeing was a founding member in Sheffield in the UK. Fascinated with innovative engineering and with Nick and Giles having lived on a sailing boat for large swathes of time as children, Bremont was immensely proud to be asked to be the official timing partner for both the America's Cup and Defenders of the Cup, Oracle Team USA. Renowned as the oldest trophy in international sport, the America's Cup first took place in 1851 on the waters of England's south coast. Today, this exciting and compelling event remains firmly at the forefront of the international sporting calendar, with cutting-edge foiling catamarans crewed by world-class sailors fighting for this historic trophy. Another interesting partnership has been the collaboration with Ronnie Wood and Bremont's B1 Marine Clock. The clock, 100% designed and built in the UK over a series of years, was 
originally made to pay tribute by Bremon to the past masters of horology. Ronnie Wood, the iconic Rolling Stones guitarist and critically acclaimed artist, worked closely with Bremon to produce a very unique and emotive clock. Armed with a paintbrush, Ronnie hand-painted both the dials and clock cases, with the end product being something truly unique and exceedingly special. The Bremont brand continues to grow and push many boundaries in watchmaking. With this growth has also come the accolade of awards, and the timepieces can now be found in many of the leading retailers in over 20 countries around the world. Bremont is also very proud of its own brand boutiques, including those now in Mayfair and the City of London, Hong Kong, and the more recent flagship store on Madison Avenue, New York. The watch boutiques, which represent an important milestone for Bremont, have been carefully designed and fitted to elegantly showcase the brand's collection of beautifully engineered mechanical timepieces. They're laid out to tell Bremont's story alongside that of its key partnerships, and are also a wonderful platform to help support its retail partners and customer base. As the brand grows, so does its band of followers, and all do seem to have one thing in common the love of a beautifully engineered mechanical device.